Hi, I'm Dan Weisenberger, and in today's lesson, I'd like to talk about the conversion of light energy to chemical energy in photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, outlined here, is a two-step procedure that converts light energy into sugar with oxygen as a byproduct in plant cells. Specifically, photons of light excite uh, chlorophyll pigments, which are within the chloroplasts of plant cells. And this chlorophyll pigment, basically in the presence of water and manganese, um, causes electrons to be generated and a water and two water molecules get split in order to generate these electrons with oxygen that, that essentially start up an electron transport chain. With, within, this, um, within the thylakoid membrane of plant cells. Uh, the, the electrons transfer into quinones and through a cyto cytochrome B6F complex where they are used to generate an ion pump and a protein gradient which results in the production of ATP. This all occurs in photosystem two and ironically photosystem one follows uh, in which the, an electron tries to fill the empty space left from when the first electron uh, was excited out of the chlorophyll molecule. And this uh, starts another electron transport chain that eventually goes to ferroredoxin and then converts NADP into NADPH. In step two of photosynthesis, is uh, carbon fixation in which the ATP and the NADPH that are generated in step one enter or are, are um, required for the Calvin cycle in which uh, CO2 uh, is converted into sugar and ultimately forms glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, which is the essential starting material for glycolysis. And then that serves to to go through glycolysis, and then uh, the, citric acid, the, the citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphorylation. So essentially, we have a way of converting light energy into a large amount of chemical energy that the cell can use for cell function and cell growth. I'm Dan Weisenberger, and this is conversion of light energy into chemical energy in photosynthesis.